Please make sure the power cable and Ethernet cable are firmly plugged in and do not perform upgrading procedure via wireless connection. Please connect the modem with your computer firstly. Input the website address 192.168.1.254 and you could visit the management interface now. The default username and password are both admin. Please go to Configuration, System and then Backup. Click the button Backup Settings and then, the backup file will be saved. Now. Let's begin to upgrade firmware. Please click the button Configuration, System and then Firmware Upgrade. Please choose Factory Default Settings, in order to keep pace with official version, and go back to the very beginning with nothing customized settings and data. Then choose Corresponding Firmware File. Please pay attention, that if you want to keep current settings that you have customized, like VPN printers or anything else, please choose current settings. After choosing relative model to restart the device, please choose corresponding upgraded files, suiting to your modem you downloaded before. For example, my modem is 8700AXL, so I should choose the file corresponding to this model. Please note that you could download these files from the internet and the website address is listed below in the video description. After uploading the firmware, go to Configuration, System and then Update, choose the file you downloaded before and then click Update Settings. The information provided in this YouTube is intended for informational purposes only and is subject to change and update without notice. First International Trading made this video and reserves all copyright, for further information. Please check our website www.firsthint.com.au